My name is Phyllis Aboyan. I was born Phyllis Ruckerson in Brooklyn, New York, to Sylvia and Irving Ruckerson. First, we lived in, actually, we lived in Bensonhurst when I was an infant, then to Williamsburg, and then to Borough Park, and then to uh, Midwood section of Brooklyn. Uh, we had, uh, my father was a salesman uh, after he closed his uh, paint store in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And my mother was a stay-at-home mom who liked to cook a lot and clean and shop. And every uh, Saturday when I was older, we would go to downtown to Mays and Orbachs and Kleins. And uh, then uh, also uh, every summer we would go to the country to cool off at the Catskill Mountains. And as I get, when I got older, I went to Coney Island with my friends. Uh, we, I had two, set, two sets of grandparents. That was my mother's uh, parents. That was uh, Becky and Joseph Litowitz. And my father's uh, parents was uh, Rose and uh, Barnett Ruckerson. Uh, my grandmother, I remember, uh, my grandmother Litowitz always wore braids around her head as she had very long hair. And my grandfather, Ruck um, Littlewoods unfortunately liked to smoke a lot. My uh, grandmother Ruckerson used to have us for dinner sometimes and she made very heavy Jewish food. And uh, I had a lot of aunts and uncles that lived in Brooklyn. We used to have family um, get-togethers with my cousins. Uh, every month we would change homes. We would especially like to go to my uncle in New Jersey because he had a nice big house with a nice barbecue uh, in the back yard. And uh, then um, I went to uh, Brooklyn College and I finished my college in, in uh, New Jersey at Wayne University. I also had two sisters, uh, Dorothy and Lori. Lori is 18 years younger than me and she has a boy and a girl and lives in California and uh, her daughter Jessica now lives in Israel. And Dorothy has three girls. Two girls live in Jersey, one girl lives in Connecticut, and she has four granddaughters. Uh, we, uh, my father, one thing he liked to do was to go traveling with, with his children only. He didn't like just, you know, go traveling um, uh, by himself. And every winter, every Christmas, we would go visit my aunt and uncle in uh, Maryland um, and visited uh, my Aunt Ruthie and Uncle Jay and my cousins Evan and Joyce. Uh, they, um, they still live in Maryland, but my uncle and aunt, of course, are deceased. I have cousins in New Jersey, I have cousins in um, uh, Indiana and California, and we really scattered all over, although we all came from Brooklyn. And my mother and I, we did a lot of shopping, like I said, on. Uh, you know, went to, uh, on the trains to uh, downtown Brooklyn and did a lot of shopping there. But my mother's favorite thing was that she returned and then shopped because that was her excuse to go back and shop again is by returning her clothing or whatever she else she bought there. Um, oh, I'm uh, named after my great-grandmother. That's my mother's grandmother. Um, and uh, her name was Ida. And she uh, was a very, supposedly I heard from family, she was a very, very clean person who liked to take a lot of baths. And unfortunately, one bath she took, um, she fell, and she did die from it. Uh, personally, I have two girls who have uh, nine beautiful children. My daughter Nancy has a girl named ja Jackie, and my daughter Beth has Matthew and Dylan and they, Matthew and Dylan live in uh, New Jersey, and Nancy and Jackie live in Colorado. Uh, what I've been doing lately is I've been traveling a lot. I uh, just came back from uh, a cruise to uh, the East Coast to see the fall foliage with my sister and a few friends from Arizona, where I'm now residing. I do live in Arizona for the last 13 years, and uh, I'm supposed to go to Cuba in March. Uh, I've also been to New Zealand and Ireland, Scotland, and uh, Russia, which was very interesting. So um, I do travel a lot and see a lot of shows with my friends in Arizona. And uh, we, uh, 
we have a pretty good time there. So we eat out a lot, you know, and, uh, and just trying to enjoy life. Uh, yeah, my, my favorite aunt and uncle, my uncle uh, Jay and my aunt Ruth, who are now deceased, uh, we had a terrific 50th party an uh, anniversary party, and it was really a complete surprise to them, um, as uh, maybe, you know, pictures uh, speak louder than words. Uh, but we had a great time, and I remember one thing that I did. I met my mother's cousin, Ethel, uh, from Seattle, Washington. My mother had a uncle, who uh, the brother of her father, who lived to 100, and he had a daughter named Ethel, uh, who lived to the same age as my mother, 97, which was a coincidence. And my mother had a lot of cousins that lived to 100. Um, some in San Diego, my uh, grandmother's brother's uh, children, uh, her, his, her, her, her brother's name was Harris, and Harris had uh, a few sons and two daughters, and they all lived to very, very old age, uh, especially the girls I know, Betty and Kitty lived to 100, and they lived in uh, D.C., Washington, D.C., but the boys lived in C uh, San Diego. Uh, and that's all about, I, I do remember, oh, visiting uh, the boys' uh, hotel, motel they owned in San Diego on Shelter Island with my two little girls. And uh, they used to uh, have a lot of uh, celebrities come there. And we saw Jerry Lewis's first wife there. And we had lunch there, and it was lovely. Of course, uh, they're all passed away now, and uh, the... Uh, the uh, motel hotel has been sold. Uh, I think I'm proud uh, to say that um, I was uh, number seven out of 193 peop people in my high school, and I did pretty good in school. In fact, I won for the highest mark in uh, Hebrew, where I was called of, uh, into New York and received a book and a medal for it. And also I started my own business when I uh, lived in New Jersey, I uh, did estate sales and I was in real estate, so I guess I'm kind of proud of those things that I did. My only advice to my uh, next generations, you know, that includes my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and so forth, is to get a good education and try to enjoy life and be what you are and try to enjoy whatever you do. Uh, for the rest of your life.